The following program was created specifically for SAM Medical and the SAMIO Interosseous Access System orientation and training. Successful SAMIO access, as with all medical devices, is predicated on quality education and training. This includes a comprehensive clinical understanding as well as hands on skills practice. To assist with your SAMIO training program, you will find an associated instructions for use, suggested course outline, PowerPoint slide program, training video, and suggested quiz. For questions, concerns, or additional information, please contact customer service at SAM Medical. Precautions, warnings, and advisories. At the conclusion of this didactic and recommended hands-on training session, you should be able to identify the SAM I.O. components and function, list the indications, contraindications for I.O. access, identify landmarks for I.O. access, list steps for proper SAM I.O. access, describe indications of successful I.O. placement, and demonstrate a method for removal of the SAM I.O. The SAM I.O. is a manually operated interosseous access system. Catheter placement is achieved by continuously actuating, repeatedly compressing, the driver's trigger assembly while gently guiding the needle assembly into position. Repeated full trigger actuation completes a rotational spin of the needle assembly which, when combined with gentle downward pressure, results in a controlled I.O. placement. Once the needle assembly is properly positioned, the stylet is removed to expose a standard lure lock for extension set connection. With the extension set connected, aspiration verification, flushing, and selected treatments may commence. Note the various components supplied by the I.O. access system are depicted in this illustration. No PPE or cleansing agent is supplied with the SAM I.O. The SAM I.O. driver, which is reusable, can initially be found in its supplied packaging. Remove the driver from its packaging and repeatedly compress the driver's assembly to appreciate its unique function. SAM I.O. needle assemblies are provided sterile in color-coded, size-specific, labeled packaging. Standard sizes include a pink 15 mm 15 gauge needle assembly, a blue 25 mm length 15 gauge needle assembly, and a yellow 45 mm length 15 gauge needle assembly. At this point in the presentation, it's important to begin discussing needle assembly selection based upon overlying tissue depth at the insertion site. Ensuring that 5 mm of catheter is visible above the skin is important. The most accurate determinant of needle assembly length related to safe and rosseous access are the black depth indicators on the catheter. Depth indicators function as a measuring guide to determine the amount of soft tissue overlying targeted bone. Depth verification must be accomplished prior to the insertion attempt in order to determine if the needle assembly length is adequate to reach the medullary space. 15 millimeter needle assembly is suggested for patients with non-existent to limited overlying adipose tissue. The 25 millimeter needle assembly is suggested for patients with minimal to moderate overlying adipose tissue. And the 45 millimeter needle assembly is suggested for patients with moderate to excessive overlying tissues. Contents of the SAM I.O. package include one needle assembly, one extension set, and one needle vise. With the image in the bottom right side corner of the screen, note that the needle assembly has been attached to the driver and the safety cap has been removed to reveal the depth indicators. Note that the extension set has been primed with saline and that the needle vise has been removed from the packaging and positioned for stylet retrieval. List the indications and contraindications for I.O. access. I.O. access is indicated any time in which vascular access is difficult to obtain in emergent, urgent, or medically necessary cases. Contraindications. Fractured in the targeted bone, previous significant orthopedic procedures at the site selected for insertion, interosseous catheter placement in targeted bone within the past 48 hours, infection at the site selected for insertion, or excessive tissue or absence of anatomic landmarks. This slide illustrates the adult, proximal, and distal tibial access sites. Note that each site of the adult tibia is located medially and approximately two to three centimeters from the adjacent joint.
Looking at the adult proximal humeral site, we note that the proximal humeral site is located laterally and approximately 2 to 3 centimeters from the adjacent joint. These slides illustrate pediatric proximal and distal tibial access sites. Note that each site on the pediatric tibia is located medially and approximately 1 centimeter from the adjacent joint. This slide illustrates the pediatric distal femur and the proximal humeral sites. Note that the pediatric distal femur site is located medially, midline, one centimeter, proximal to the patella. Note that the pediatric proximal humeral site is located laterally and approximately one centimeter from the adjacent joint. Now let's discuss each insertion step in detail. One. Clean the insertion site according to institutional protocol or policy. 2. Prepare supplies. This means don PPE, prime your infusion set, attach the needle assembly to the driver. It's important not to touch or contaminate the uncapped, sterile components of the needle assembly. It's also important to control any patient movement prior to or during the procedure. Number 3. Insert needle assembly through the skin and adipose tissue. It's important now to reiterate that the needle assembly selection is based upon overlying tissue depth at the insertion site. Number five, continuously actuate or repeatedly compress the driver's trigger assembly while applying gentle, steady, downward insertion pressure to achieve controlled entry. It's important not to use excessive force. Use minimal, gentle, downward insertion pressure, allowing the needle assembly tip's rotation to penetrate the compact bone. Number six, advance the needle assembly into the desired position. For adult and pediatric insertions, discontinue trigger actuation when a subtle give or pop is appreciated, indicating needle assembly entry into the medullary space. Number seven, Remove the stylet by firmly stabilizing the needle assembly hub while simultaneously retracting or lifting off and disconnecting the driver. Number eight, disconnect the stylet from the driver. Place provided needle vise on flat, stable surface. Firmly insert the stylet directly down and into the open needle vise. Number nine, which is optional, obtain blood samples for laboratory analysis. Number 10, Attach primed extension set to catheter hub. Firmly secure by twisting clockwise. Number 11, optional. For patients responsive to pain, consider the administration of preservative and epinephrine-free 2% lidocaine. Number 12, confirmation and reconfirmation of catheter placement should include one or more recommended methods. Identify blood at the stylet tip. Note stability of catheter in the bone. Notability to aspirate blood from the catheter. Notability to flush catheter without extravasation. Appreciation of adequate flow rate. And noted patient response to medications or fluids. Number 13. Flush the SAMIO with normal saline as directed by protocol or standard. Repeat flush as needed. Failure to appropriately flush the SAMIO catheter may result in limited or no flow. Once semio catheter has been flushed, administer fluids and medications as indicated. Caution. Monitor the insertion site frequently for extravasation. Do not leave the catheter inserted for more than 24 hours. To remove the semio catheter from the patient, disconnect the extension set. Attach a sterile 10 milliliter lure lock syringe to the hub of the catheter while continuously rotating the catheter clockwise to the right Slowly apply gentle traction. Maintain axial alignment during withdrawal. Do not rock or bend the catheter during removal process. Once the catheter has been removed, immediately place the syringe and catheter in an appropriate sharps container. Dress the site according to protocol or standard. The following is supplemental material. With the IO catheter in position, consider using the SAM stabilizer. There are two methods to attach the SAM stabilizer. Place the SAM stabilizer carefully over the catheter and against the skin, then attach the primed extension set to the SAM IO catheter. Alternatively, attach the extension set and then apply the SAM stabilizer.
As with all modern medical devices, the SAMIO access system meets rigid safety standards, governmental mandates, and the demanding expectations of clinicians worldwide. The SAM IO Access System was developed with attention to the latest presented and published scientific evidence, as well as guidance from today's leading experts in the fields of emergency medicine, trauma, orthopedic surgery, critical and combat care, as well as pre-hospital emergency medicine. The SAM IO Access System's warranty, advisory, and warnings should be introduced as a component of this training program. Successful SAMIO access, as with all medical devices, is predicated on quality education and training. This includes comprehensive clinical understanding as well as hands-on skills efforts. SAM Medical is immensely proud to be part of your life-saving work. Our team is inspired by your unrelenting passion and honored that you trust us to support your patient care.